Hello my sweets, welcome back to Beauty Meets DIY. This is Helen, thank you so much for watching. So today I have a Chanel inspired DIY for you guys. Uh, the video is a little long, nonetheless, I do hope that you enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get right into it. To start off, we are going to use these fairly new rainbow wreaths that you can find at the Dollar Tree. So these are new this year to Dollar Tree. They are supposed to be rainbows. You're going to need a, uh, a total of four of them. And that's how we are going to create our CC. Now you have made, you have seen me uh, do something similar in my previous video where I did a small one with the round reefs. But when I saw this, I decided that, hey, if you put them together just like this, again, you're gonna start from one, two, and by the third one, you're gonna connect them together. And there you have one of your CC uh, logos. So uh, you're going to need uh, zip ties for this. For this first DIY, I'm going to do it with flowers, so it doesn't matter what color the zip ties are necessarily, but you wanna go ahead and connect them. I use a total of four for this part right here. And of course, you wanna go ahead and do the same thing with your other CC. So now that you have them both done, you of course wanna go ahead and connect them so that this way they can look like that CC Chanel logo. Okay, so I'm kinda of guiding myself uh, with that middle part right there, but then I space it out. So you can space it inward, outward, you just wanna mimic the logo as much as possible. So kind of fiddle around with it a little bit here and there, and then go ahead and use more zip ties to join them together. Because if you look at the CC logo, you don't want to put it too together, and you don't want it too far apart, if that makes sense. So uh, that's kind of what I'm trying to figure out here. Go ahead and use your strongest glue just so for some extra reinforcement there. I suggest you doing that. This way it kind of doesn't move around when you uh, want to go ahead into the next step. So here are all my flowers that have gathered through time. It doesn't really matter what color they are. At least for me it didn't matter because I was going to spray paint it at the end. And I kind of went, this is how it ended up once I glued it all around to the CC logo, logo, sorry. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint it. I use a mix of gold, um, rose gold, a little pink, a little here and there. And then I glittered, I sprinkled some glitter on top and this is the end result. I'm so, I didn't show it cause it's kind of self-explanatory. I just kind of went and used different kinds of spray paint. Like I said, uh, some metallic gold by rust -Oleum, some rose gold, some pink. And you can spray paint this any color that you want. And now I'm just embellishing it with these rinds, uh, these uh, acrylic gems you can find at the Dollar Tree. So that was kind of like our vintage uh, rustic glam version. Now we're gonna do our glam version. So I went ahead and spray painted it. I did the same process. And here I'm just showing you how I use different acrylic gems, that, but mostly the ones from Dollar Tree and I just glued it. Now it took me an entire day to do just one C, so just be ready for that. <laughs> Have a snack, a drink, your three meals next to you because you're gonna be there for a while. So luckily for me, I was able to poke this through there, but I do suggest that you join them together before you continue because if not, then how will you join them? I just, thankfully, I, this was an afterthought, I was able to join them because I actually have some gaps in between the gems. So I'm just kind of letting you guys know ahead of time that you want to plan ahead when you do this. So this is how, obviously I'm using the white um, zip tie because you know, you don't want it to show through um, the acrylic gems. But this is how they, after I did the first one, I was like, oh my God, how am I gonna join this together, duh. And then luckily for me, I had those gaps. So I do recommend you do that and plan ahead. But yeah, so I did join them together in this way, and now I'm going to continue and proceed another long day in finishing my other um, C. 
So coming right up, I'm just gonna let you know that um, what I did was that I took the Dollar Tree diamond acrylic gems and I'm showing you here that you want them to be leveled or parallel uh, across from each other. In other words, that they level out the one, the one end of the C with the other end of the C on the other side. And now on those raised areas right there is where I'm going to apply the acrylic diamond gems from the Dollar Tree. And you're probably going to need at least 10 packs. Then that includes if you want to use them in between the gaps that you will see later coming up. You want to use at least 10 packs of those for each uh, letter C. So it is going to require time. It is going to require a lot of these gems. You might want to order them online or uh, the Dollar Tree website. But I will link these down for you in my Amazon store because you're going to need quite a bit. And there you don't always find them at the Dollar Tree. So this is what I mean. I covered all those areas and now I'm going to go in between with both the more of the acrylic diamond gems and some other ones that I'm going to show you right now. And this is what I'm talking about. These I got at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. These kind of look like ice cubes. That's what they remind me of uh, because there are bigger gaps. And so you kind of want to mix the two up different kind of gems. Or another thing I suggest is the glass uh, flat marble rounds from the Dollar Tree. Those will cover more area. That's another option. You don't have to use this. Um, you can use those, um, those flat round marbles, uh, large marbles that they have at um, Dollar Tree. So I did order remote control light, but it didn't get here in time. So I'm going to use these that have the little small compact um, little battery pack that I do like as well. I will link these down for you guys as well in my Amazon store. So I used a total of three, but once I get the other ones, I'm going to remove these and use the remote control. This way I can operate it that way instead of manually. Moving on to our next DIY, you're gonna grab one of an inexpensive clock. This was about five bucks at Walmart. You wanna dismantle it. Um, so here I am just removing my little screws. Make sure you don't lose them. Put them to the side somewhere that you will be able, because obviously you're gonna need it later. And here I'm just grabbing some of this um, black rhinestone ribbon and I'm just embellishing my clock. So I didn't bother spray painting the clock. I actually like that very light gray color that it had. I actually like that color a lot and it complemented really well with what I was trying to do in my opinion. So I'm just here just jazzing it up and embellishing it um, in this way. Now what I decided to do as you can see here, just grab some pearls and I'm just putting them on top of all the numbers. And that's how it's looking so far. So I went ahead online and I printed out kind of like a Chanel bottle, perfume bottle, kind of a watercolor. That's how you have to Google it. If you want, I can link this down for you guys below. But it's very simple to search. It's kind of a perfume bottle uh, with flowers, watercolor, that sort of thing. So what you want to do is cut it in half, obviously, because you got to go around the clock hand. And I'm guiding myself there by the number six because obviously that's in the middle. This way it can just kind of align right there in the middle. Guys, you see that thumbs up back there? That's a new find at Dollar Tree. And I put it there for a purpose because I want you guys to give me a thumbs up if you think that I am deserving. So every time that you see that, that's just to remind you to give me those thumbs up. I really appreciate it. So now I just added some uh, gems and pearls in there just to give it that little extra something. Just make sure that it doesn't get in the way of the hands of the clock as it goes around. For our next DIY, you're going to need these glass cylinder uh, candles. They were filled with can the I removed the candle and I cleaned them out. You can find those tapered ones at Dollar Tree. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix my pearls with my uh, diamond gems and some of those clear ones as well and just alternating here and there and I'm gonna fill those up all the way and that's what that's looking like so far so now we have these from the Dollar Tree they come in a tall medium and small 
I think I'm using the, the tall and the small ones. You don't have to use this. This is just a one look that I decided to do. Obviously you want to use your strongest glue for this. For the video, I'm just using my hot glue. And now I'm just going to grab some of this pearl ribbon that's also new to Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to go around and cover up that seam. And I'm going to apply some on the top as well. So again, this is a versatile thing, but this is uh, just one look that I thought of. And now with my Cricut, um, this, this is actually a self-adhesive uh, mirrored paper. I just used the Cricut just to create the letters. So I'm peeling it off. I'm going to cut it in half. And you can just grab some of this clear um, contact paper from the Dollar Tree. This works really, really well. And basically what I'm trying to do is just kind of lift up my letters from this mirrored paper, the letters that my Cricut cut out for me. Yeah, these are the awesome things that you can do with the Cricut machine. I have, my husband does help me a lot, which I have yet to. Um, I'm still trying to learn it, but there's just infinite things that you can do with this machine. It is an awesome machine. So, um, yeah, and don't try to go out and buy this fancy contact paper. The one from the Dollar Tree, I think, is from the, uh, I think, is from the that brand it's, that you can find at Walmart too. It works just fine. So I decided to go with silver. Um, but again, you can use black. Black will look really nice as well, and even gold. For our next DIY, we're going to use one of these Dollar Tree mirrors, and I'm just gonna um, take off the backing, and off camera, I decided to cover the backing or the insert with uh, this marble contact paper, and I printed out these watercolor perfume bottles again. Um, that you can search online very easy doesn't have to be Chanel you guys it can just say all your perfume or however you pronounce it in French <laughs> um, Doesn't have to say Chanel um, It can just I basically was just looking for some perfume bottles And so now I'm just gonna adhere it with some Mod Podge now I did make a mistake and I recommend that you do not do it is go ahead and use uh, the Mod Podge to glue it on but then just stop there because what I did afterwards was that I coated the top of the perfume bottles and it just didn't turn out so well. So at this point, you can glue it on really well and then just leave it. I was trying to create, create somewhat of a glossy finish, but that, see what I mean? It kind of faded out my look and I didn't like that. But moving right along. My tip, as I always tell you, my pony beads, I use large ones and smaller ones. It's a little tip I've always given you. It just helps my little diamond gent to stand up straight on any flat surface. You've seen me use this time and time again. Um, and I'm just creating a little ledge here where you can hang your keys, you can lay your, um, your dry eraser pen and that sort of thing. All right, moving on. This is Barbie's uh, playhouse here. <laughs> they, they have it in pink and purple, her little couch for Barbie. You can find it at Dollar Tree as well. I'm going to give it a quick sand with this very, very fine sandpaper that I think you can find also at Dollar Tree. I don't recommend that you use anything coarse, but you want to do that so your spray paint can adhere to your surface. And I'm using this flat uh, black from rust -Oleum. And here I'm just embellishing it with um, these little pearls here because it already had that tufted look. So it just reminds me of Chanel. Anything tufted, black and white, pearls. Yeah. So here I'm using some felt. I do recommend that you use something nice or maybe some black silk or some other kind of nice material. This is what I had on hand. And I do regret not cutting the felt all the long way. So it can cover end to end on the inside. Um, I just did it the other way for some reason. When you glue it down, glue it to the surface and not to each other. I just want to point that out. And now I'm using these uh, pearl letters that you can find either at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And I decided that I was going to spell the word Chanel. And uh, coming right up, I'm going to show you what each piece is <laughs> if you haven't figured it out by now 
And off camera, I did go ahead and embellish this a little bit more, not too much, with some pearl trim, some more of that pearl trim ribbon as I'm showing you here. All right, guys, so coming right out, I'm going to show you how everything turned out. Here is our CC logo. What can I say? This is gorgeous. Like, this is all Dollar Tree, you guys. These are rainbow Dollar Tree wreaths and the gems from the Dollar Tree. I'm not kidding you. I want to tell you what this measures across. It measures 21 inches and then from top to bottom from the tallest part of the letter C is 16 inches so this is 21 by 16 this is huge and it has a little weight to it and I wish I would have had my light that I ordered uh, you can see the light but I think that the one the other one would have been a little better but this is gorgeous you guys I am in love with this and here are my candle holders let me know what you guys think about this now you don't have to use those tea light holders you can put something smaller on them um, or anything like that again this is just one look that I decided to do let me know you guys thought let me know if this is something that you're going to recreate this will look cool in any room in your home especially if you are a Chanel fan and this right here is kind of my rustic vintage glam with the flowers. I did sprinkle a lot of glitter on it. Um, that kind of like that rose gold copperish look, just kind of giving me that vintage vibe. And so this is for uh, an alternative for all you girls out there that are not, you know, over the top glam. It was just another look that I created for you guys just to give you some ideas and alternatives. And coming right up now, I'm going to show you how our little desk accessories, if you will, turned out. Here we have our ring holder slash business card. Yes. <laughs> Can I be 16 again? Or I don't care. I will put this in my desk or my office if I could. This is our dry erase board. Hello, beautiful, if you're watching. That's for you. And this is our beautiful clock right here that you can put in any wall or office in your home. Let me know what you guys think. I think this is fabulous. Um, and if you're wondering about that little jar, I created that. It's Helen's Beauty Secret. I don't have any beauty secret, just moisturize every day. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me know if you're going to recreate these things and let me know what your thoughts are. Give me those thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.